Hey everyone, and welcome back to Worth Playing uh, for the week of August 16th. Um, I'm, we're starting off with the webcam straight up front because uh, the first game we're going to take a look at, a game called Slave of God, it comes with a seizure warning up front because uh, there's a lot of stuff going on visually, so I thought I would at least make sure and give you a heads up about that before we uh, jump into the game proper. So keep that in mind if that is an issue for you. All right, we are now actually in the game. If you didn't catch at the beginning, it's called Slave of God. My understanding is that the aim of this is to capture what it is like to be in a club. So I've got my mouse cursor. Can't seem to do, do a whole lot right now, but it seems like I can click on this. I cannot say I have a whole lot of experience in dance clubs. So this is going to be new, oh dear God. All right, well that looks like that is the entrance to the club. There is some shit going on in this game. I will tell you what, if I was somebody that was suffering from seizures, this would be some sort of a horrible, horrible nightmare. All right, let's head into the game. Game? I don't know, so I'm gonna follow these stick figures. They seem to be having a pretty good time on the dance floor. Where's this person going? Hey, buddy. Uh, I can jump. I can look around. This is a bulky DJ. Well, I guess it's more of a bodyguard? I'm not sure. I'm going to go out here on the dance floor. Oh, man, are we dancing? Oh, God. what is happening? <laughs> uh, did we dance? Oh, okay. We gotta keep eye contact. Uh, we gotta keep dancing with each other. Come on, here we go. Oh, whoop. Here we go. Oh, okay, we're dancing. This is how people dance. Yeah, keep my eye on you. We're dancing. We're loving it. What is even going on? All right, now I guess maybe this is simulating the idea that while there are other people on this dance floor, you and I, we're the only ones that matter. Right, am I projecting too much out of this? I can't seem to do anything else with this guy. The light's going on. I can still jump. All I can do is move up, down, left, and right. Else? Can I head over here? Can I interact with anything else? Nope. Is that a path? Kinda of looks like that might be a path. Where are we going, game? Uh, Alright, we're heading out. Should I do it? I am the ultimate club goer, as anyone will tell you. Okay, so I'm moving forward still, I'm hitting forward on the keyboard. Are we dancing till dawn? Is that what this is about? I don't know. I'm just moving <laughs> moving forward. That's literally all I can do, and, and it's changing things in the background, so I'm assuming that I'm doing what I'm supposed to. No longer a mouse cursor. I don't think it crashed. And none of the keyboard is responding to me. I guess I beat it. I guess the idea is that, I don't know, again, not as a club goer, can't speak to it. My interpretation of that is that you dance until dawn and then everyone goes home. And you are slave to the music. Music is your god. Maybe not that subtle, but cool, I guess. If you were a club goer, let me know if that is accurate. The next game we're looking at is a game called Delver. Uh, we're, let's see, let's delete my saves. Start fresh. It's a, 
uh, first person, roguelike like, roguelike. I don't know what the safe terminology is these days. Every time I use one, I get yelled at by someone for using it. So uh, it's a, a game currently in development. You can even get in on the action as I am right now for uh, as low as five dollars. Not as low as. It's not like you get to bid on the the price. Hey, buddy. That's a, that's a very satisfying explosion. I like the fact that it doesn't know... I don't know what that potion is. You worry about it. it looks like an apple. Get the apple. So the game definitely has a, a Minecraft look to it. Hey, buddy. Yep, just gonna keep swinging this sword. Well, that's just not working out for me. What do we try... Ooh, I, th I seem to be... Boom! That felt pretty good. Okay. Seem to be taking damage here. What do we got over here? We got mushrooms, we got a... Uh, some crystal, I guess that crystal's not any good. Ooh, I didn't hit, mean to hit five. This is what happens when you have your keyboard underneath in a little spot. You don't actually see which key you're pressing. I also have, as I have lamented in uh, times past, not a great keyboard for actually playing games. It's mostly an okay keyboard for uh, manipulating your computer if you're hooking it up to your TV, which is not my primary use of this computer right now. I just haven't had a chance to purchase a better keyboard. When we got uh, hired by CBS, there was a, an opportunity to choose what keyboard you wanted. And I got a Apple wireless keyboard, because at that time I was primarily bringing my laptop into work, and that I really, I actually like Apple's keyboards quite a bit. Uh, but it doesn't help me so much now that m more or less I am doing everything on a PC. Unless we're talking about mastering the, uh, the podcast, the, all right, you mastering the uh, the podcast uh, for uh, Bombing in the AM. I'm still not used to that name. Oh, jeez. Okay. Two. Okay, I feel restored. Great. I love feeling restored. So does it actually... Oh. Let's see. Boom. Move that up. Does it actually tell you... XP 2432. Okay, so it does tell you where you're at. And what your next level is. Um, doesn't seem clear if leveling up is anything more than just increased HP. Oh, okay, attack 1 to 21, AC 3. AC is I mean current level. All right, so we go back. Oh, where? What was? I don't know what that was. Oh, that transported me back. So, I mean, I'll say, so far playing this, the Minecraft look doesn't do anything for me, but that might just be me. I'm not anti-Minecraft as much as I'm, oh, jeez, not Minecraft. I just, get bread. That's, okay. That's pretty good. I've just uh, never really gotten into it. Uh, we actually touched on this a little bit in a, so I screwed can't jump. I don't know how to get over there. Oh, this put me all the way back at the beginning here. Uh, just never quite got into Minecraft, mostly because it requires you to make your own fun, and there are precious few games where I feel compelled enough to, to actually do that. But I'm actually super envious of young kids that play Minecraft, because the idea of playing a game like that with infinite time that sounds really cool, because just like most other people, I was super into Legos and uh, Lincoln Logs and, and things of that nature when I was younger. Right, let's just actually move to the next area. I thought I was right around here. Okay, well, there's like a sword over there that I'd really like, but I don't think that's going to happen. 
Because I can put my map. Okay, so come over here and take a right. I like the music. It's kind of such a such a decent mood. Okay, we already clarified that wasn't worth messing with. All right, second floor. So obviously, as some of these games work, you are mostly just trying to survive uh, as long as you can. Okay, get worn leather pants. Okay, I do want to get away from that guy because he ah Boom. he seems to poison you. Woo! I do like that. My comments so far about this game seem to be, I do like that. I like that. Obviously, you come to Worth Playing for extremely insightful commentary on video games, such as, I like that, and I don't like when I get poisoned. Oh, please. There we go. That seems better. Okay, go into my inventory. One to two damage. That, get some of that. Boom. Probably don't want to fall in the water. Let's see what's around the corner. Bats. Bats with bread. Because there's not even a joke there. It's just that bat's got bread. Oh, some big swords here. One to six. Hey, hey, man, these are mine. Back off. Get warm, storm one, two to twelve lightning. Okay. So this has got no charges. Let's get rid of that. Broken steel sword, one to six. That still seems better than what I got. Okay. Should we just see what this does? Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Worn ring of protection. Slot that there. Alright, this game seems pretty alright. Oh, that's, he's got another one here. Excellent ring of protection. Well, gee, why? Give me that excellent one. Gee, golly. Got this big old sword. We are in business, my friends. Let's head over to this area. Oh, nope. Let's check our map. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, so attack while I've got my map. Don't leave me over there. Do I have to go in the water? Seems like that might be what the game is suggesting right now. anything over there, so I'm wondering if that little black spot in the blue is where I'm supposed to head towards. I mean, if you fall in the water, either you die or you are supposed to go in the water. It seems like there's only two ways that could go. Oh, give me that blue stuff. Oh, there's stairs. Whoa, fall. That guy's just hiding out. Don't worry. I'm all over it. Okay, well... Red potion. Very specific. We'll just keep this map open while we try and find the next section. I don't know. I don't know where to go next. Maybe over... I mean, we did this, right? Oh! I like games with secret doors. That was actually one of my favorite things, playing like Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, and Shadow Warrior, back when I thought those were good games. And, nah, I don't want to slag too much on Duke Nukem 3D. I, that game probably still holds up pretty well. Shadow Warrior, not, not so much. Yeah, let's try this out. Boom. It's not my phone is ringing. Who's calling me? Doesn't everyone know that when I hit record on my computer that I am no longer taking phone calls? Scroll of health? What does that even mean? Oh. I suppose that was patently obvious. So if this is a broken sword, that means it must break down over time. Uh, some interesting ideas happening here. I mean, obviously, the 
combat is pretty repetitive. Pretty, re pretty repetitive. Uh, there's not a whole lot of nuance to it. You know, just kind of swing, uh, which is fine. But oh, I'm just going over these transporters. Ah, that's gonna, it's gonna make me call this. Uh, this is Delver. It's five dollars to get early access uh, to the game currently in development. They're seeking feedback. Uh, it's got some interesting ideas. Hasn't quite, hasn't quite hooked me. But if this seems like something you would be into, why don't you give Delver a look? See. All right. Let's move on to the final game for uh, this week's worth playing. This is our last game. It's called Save the Date. I have now. Early in the week, I talked about doing worth playing several times a week because I had such a long list of games, and I've had like four of them just not function at all, or not cooperate with recording, or I just want to take a gun and shoot myself and <laughs> record this so I can get the feature up for people and I can move on with my weekend, even though as I record this, I have plenty left to do. Anyway, that's not your concern. Let's check out Save the Date. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start a new game. Ring, ring goes the telephone. Hello, I'm answering. Oh, it's a razor flip phone. Hello, Felicia. Oh, you're early. You must be calling about tonight. I meant to ask where we're meeting. Well, I don't know where we're meeting. That's why I'm reading this text dump. Where are we having dinner? Do burgers sound good? How about Thai food? I think tonight needs to be taco night. I could go for a burger. I'm just speaking about me, but I'm going to project down on this game. So we're going to go to the burger shack. Oh, wow. Everything smells so good. I had my doubts when you mentioned this place. It's out of the way in kind of a sketchy neighborhood. This looks great. And also looks as though it is exactly bottled after an In-N-Out burger. And they do not serve bacon burgers at In-N-Out. Swiss cheese with mushrooms. No. Cheddar cheese burger with bacon. My dad would have loved this place. He would have been right at home. He really loved burgers, and this place has great ambiance. I know In N Out Burger has the ambiance of a million people trying to get slightly above average burger food. I love In N Out for the record. Do you ask about the dad? This is the date. Say nothing. Keep wants to talk. How do we bail out of this conversation? You can hear some kind of commotion coming from outside. Felicia cranes her neck to try and see. It sounds like someone is shouting. Suddenly there's a loud noise from outside, a succession of loud bangs, like a string of firecrackers going up. That seems bad. Holy shit. Let's give that date a shot again. Oh, that was a horrible pun. Oh, I feel terrible. That was not on purpose. Ah. Okay. We're gonna cycle through this dialogue, see what else we can have happen. How about Thai food? I don't really. I'm, I like Thai food, but I think it's gotta be taco night. Ray for Taco Night. 
This was a good idea. Everything is better with tacos. So far, so good. No gunshots. Heard good things about this place. Here they got a new chef. And I really like how they're out in the docks like this. Right in the open. It's not going to be a drive-by in a shady neighborhood. Where do you want to sit? Near the window where we can see the water. No, out on the patio. I'm not big on the fish tacos. I mean, I'm okay with it. I can live with it, but... An enchilada place. That's what I'm going for. Alright, Felicia, you're on your own. If you have stomach aches later tonight, not my fault. I told you, don't get the fish tacos. that obsess over some particular thing you want to the exclusion of everything else. Yeah, sometimes I'm pretty single-minded. Am I talking about the character or am I talking about my son? Okay, I thought there was gonna... <laughs> this better not be gangster dolphins. It's dolphins... This is so awesome, I agree. Dolphins are pretty cool. Never seen any dolphins in real life. <laughs> A lot, actually, every time I've been here. No, this is incredible. Oh my god! check out one more right like I want to leave it to you guys if you want to see how else this might play out but let's find out if we stay in Are we taking bets on there's me an intruder that breaks into the house yep yep oh actually I don't want okay let's not meet up you remain friendly acquaintances but that's as far as it ever goes you never managed to ask her to dinner again Eventually, she starts seeing else. Years later, they have started a life together, and you are extremely happy. You try not to envy them, but sometimes you wonder if things might have gone differently. Well, fuck it. We're gonna see what happens at Thai place. I've always wanted to try Thai food. This will be fun. Well. Be careful what you wish for, Felicia. I usually get pad thai. Excellent choice, may compliment you on your class and taste. You may do so, Felicia. Eventually dinner arrives and Felicia dives into her meal with surprise and gusto. I agree, Felicia, because otherwise you would have dated someone else and then we'd never be together. I don't know why you wanted to do this. Really wanting to ask you. Well, sorry, this is hard to say. Oop. Really hard to say. I'm not feeling. Were there peanuts in that dish or something? I don't know. I'm terrible at these dates! I keep killing my date. And that saved the date. There is probably a way out of that. I don't know what it is. I might have to go back and find out for myself. If you find a way to to survive the date and live heavily, heavenly ever after, I this game has really thrown me off my game. I just can't even speak properly. I sound like an idiot. Which is probably how I would normally sound on a date, but uh, that has saved the date, and that is worth playing for this week. 
Uh, as always, uh, links to the games are found in the description on YouTube uh, and also uh, in the actual Worth Reading article that goes up around the same time as Worth Playing. Uh, if you are if you like this feature, let me know. I'm thinking about doing it uh, twice a week because uh, usually I have way too many games to show and uh, I like to kind of keep it encapsulated to about 30 to 45 minutes. So if that's something you'd like to see, let me know. I'll consider it. Uh, otherwise, everyone, have a great weekend.